just trying to win. I'm just trying to ball. I can't trust these niggas, they just wanna see me fall. I can't trust these bitches, fuck these bitches, fuck them all. Every day I wake and bake, say my grace, eat then I'm back to ballin'. Dropping triple doubles, bitch, a nigga ballin'. What's up, YouTube? Your boy OG the Pike Main. It's back and I'm bringing you this video. I'm trying to help you guys out, man. Because if you saw my mixtape video, you can see I'm try putting up stats. Definitely when it comes to points, I think I'm one of the best players on here scoring. So I'm just trying to help you guys out, man. If you really want me to break down a whole tutorial video on how to score, I would definitely do that. But right now, I'm just really talking, just talking over some game footage. So, how to score on the park. Like, how to be one of the best scorers on the park. Let's first, we got to break down what's a good scoring average for a guy that's on the park. So, since the games go to 15, a good average for a guy on the park would be about 6. About 6 points, like 6.5. That's, that's a good average. Five would be an average player. Like he 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 scores, but he has his off games. Well, I guess not off games. The games where he decides like he don't want to score. Six would be right around the average because what six of fifteen is a little bit over one third. So that's a pretty good average. So right now, as you see, my man is averaging about seven seven something. But that's just because sometimes on the park I can go off, and other times, man, when I'm playing with my teammates, man, I don't even I don't even worry about pass. I mean, worry about scoring the ball, man. All I do is pass, bro. So my point average can be a lot higher if I play with a bunch of randoms, right? So here are a couple keys or a couple tips or whatever you want to call them that I use to score a lot of points. So first of all, I always leak out. If you're trying to get a lot of points, man, easy way, instead of doing all this cheesy crap, man, leak out. When when it comes to scoring points, definitely in the park, you got to give up something. You got to either give up assists, which a lot of you guys do, just ball hog the ball. <laughs> you got to even give up rebounding, like I'm doing right here. When you leak out, you're giving up your rebounding. So that's pretty much what I do, man. I, don't, I can go down there and read with the big guys, but I'd rather leak out for the easy layups. And easy transition points. So, or you got to give up plan D, man, where you just cherry pick, which a lot of you guys do too. So, I'm trying to give you guys the right efficient ways to score without cheesing or just looking stupid, man. You got to play D, man. You got to. So, leaking out is one. As soon as the shot is put up in the air, man, forget the rebound. Just take off running to the basket. That's what I do. I get a lot of easy layups that way. Number two, take mid-range jumpers. Now, everybody in this game, all they want to, hold on, fleek? <laughs> the shot is on fleek, though. You know when it's green, the shot is on fleek. But take mid-range jumpers. I know a lot of you guys just want to dunk it and shoot threes, but if you think about it, everybody else in this game, that's all they do is dunk and shoot threes. So if you run towards the basket like you're about to dunk it and you just stop and pop a mid-range shot, 9 out of 10, nobody's going to be expecting that. That is an easy way to get a lot of points on the park. It's easy. So you just run like you're about to go jam that thing in there, stop and pop a mid-range jumper. All right? So that's what two. So number three is you gotta get a go-to move. So my go-to move when I need to break down a defender, it's not cheesy. What it is is it's the in between the legs into the spin move. That is my go-to move every time I need to get past a defender. And pretty much, I am going to the basket. You can't stop my man. So I'm not doing it here. I should have, you know, I should have had some footage on here while I'm talking. But maybe if you guys want me to really break it down to you guys, I will. You know, just put it in the comment section. If you give me, this video get about 25 likes. I think I will just have a whole tutorial video actually breaking down the five ways I like to get to the basket or the five ways I like to score. So that move right there is another move too where I spin and then snatch it back. 
these moves right here allow me to create space and great separation so I can get my jump off. So that's three. So four. You need to really, 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 really find a shot that is, you know, good for you. A shot that you can make not only, you know, not only from green and shots, man. So if you can make this shot when it's like a little bit yellow to the left, a little bit yellow to the right, then you're good. You don't need a shot that you can green out all the time because, look, this is 2K. The servers suck. The connection is bad. So you're not going to green your shot out every time. But you need to be close. You need to be close. <laughs> so that's number four. And number five and the most important one. I know some of you guys going to look at me stupid, but this is kind of weird because we talk about scoring. When you playing with randoms, the best thing to do is pass the ball. That is the best thing to do. When you're double team and you triple team, pass the ball, man. Because one thing about playing with people that uh, don't know you, they will always give you the rock if they see that you're good enough, man. So just pass the ball. That's that's it. You pass it if they open. And if you're open, 9 times out of 10, they're going to pass it back to you, man. So those are my five easy tips to how you score more points on the park, man. And this, you know, this is your boy OG the Peg. And if Yes, you say I'm the man. He can't do it, do it like I can.